Next, we're gonna talk about our MOP server, which is our media object portal. MOP is a gateway that talks to the newsroom computer system and gives us real-time status and update of changes that might be taking place in our live broadcast. For example, this window is indicating right now that in story A4 and in story A6, we're missing clip IDs. I can go into the newsroom computer system and quickly correct that problem by typing in the clip ID for that appropriate video asset. Once we've corrected the changes that need to be made in the newsroom computer system, you notice that the MOP portal here shows no errors, and we can accept those changes one of two ways. We can come over to our user interface and we can, with the mouse pad, select change here, or we can go to our Catalyst panel and we have an update button that will also accept the change. Another question that gets raised often is what happens when I drop, add, delete, move, or float a story in the newsroom computer system? Well, it's simple. Right now you'll see that in our rundown we have stories A6 and then it flows to A7. So if we were to come to our newsroom computer system and reorder A7 ahead of A6, so I've dragged that up, I can come over to my mop window and I can see that I have an update. And if I look in the window, I can see that A7 is now ahead of A6. So I can accept the change two ways, again, either in our Catalyst automation panel or on the Ignite UI. The change happens instantly. The two stories are now swapped. So once we've accepted the change in the Ignite user interface or on the Catalyst automation panel, we can rest assured that all of our events have everything required to do the broadcast.